Olama is one of the simplest tool to run large language models locally on your laptop, desktop, or even on your edge devices or mobile devices. When you run the Olama in default mode, it runs locally on the local host, which is normally 127.0.0.1. If you want to expose this Llama on any public IP address or if you want to run it on Elastic IP, for instance, if you are running it in any public cloud, then this video might help you. In this video, I am going to show you how you can configure Llama so that it would be able to listen on a particular IP. You can also set up the port, but I would suggest you keep the default port at 1144. Okay. Now for this example, I'll be using my Ubuntu system. So let me take you to my Ubuntu system. This is my Ubuntu, which is running 22.04. I already have Olama installed. Let me clear my screen and quickly show you. So if I show you the processes running, you can see that Olama is already running. Okay. Now I'm logged in as a root. So, but once, you know, when you would be logged in you might be logged in as ubuntu user so in order to switch to root simply do to do su dash or you can if you want to run the command um, with ubuntu all you need to do is to add sudo before it i'll just go with sudo to keep things simpler okay now here first thing you need to do is to edit the system ctl file of this olama service so command is systemctl edit olama.service press enter and it will open it in the nano editor now make sure you add these two commands which i'm about to show you in your just between these two lines because anything below this line the lines below this command will be discarded so let's add this command this uh, these two lines here service in scare brackets and then environment ola underscore host 000 which will enable it to listen on any public ip address you can even specify any particular ip address here and if you want to specify any port just put colon and then the port name there now this is a nano editor so in order to save it all you need to do is to make sure your caps lock is on and control capital o enter and then control capital x and there you go you have saved it now reload the daemon and also this olama service in order to load the system daemon simply type system ctl daemon reload and then system ctl restart olama that's it let's quickly check if your olama is running in order to check it you can do Maybe I'll just go with Ubuntu or you can even run it from it doesn't matter. Olama list. So I just have five model installed and it is already serving. Let me run this file. You can it's already serving, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to run this file. And you can see that my file is running. Now let me take you to my local laptop because this uh, is running on my remote server. I will go to my local laptop and from there I will use a REST API through curl and I will show you how you can access this through the public IP. So let me take you to my VS code on my local laptop. So this is my local laptop and from there I have just used curl command. So curl HTTP and then my public IP address colon whatever port is. I'm just, just using the default 11434 and then I'm generating the response model is five if you are using any other model just replace the model name here and then your prompt let me press enter so there you go there you, there is your response and of course i need to format it but you can format it in your code this is just a response of your rest api so if i go here my prompt what why the sky is blue and then you can see that it has started Printing the response, the sky appears blue due to a phenomena. You can, of course, you know, do some code manipulation to uh, display this output in a proper way. But this is how you can put your public IP 
or you can expose your olama or your model running on remote servers to the world or in, on any public ip now another thing i wanted to show you is that it, there is also a way to redirect this output by ignoring the course and to a web address let me show you the quick command for it so this is the command you can use to avoid course all you need to do is to run your model any model and then specify your olama origins your website address and then your host ip plus port and then olama sir this is how you can avoid the course so this is how easy it is to use Olama with public IP address with various configurations. That's it. Let me know what do you think about it. If you're still facing issue, let me know in the comments. Happy to help out. If you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.